Hello everyone, this is Vila again with Into Tech Stuff. And this morning I decided I'd do a video on uh, a Toshiba BIOS password removal. And um, the model, this one, is the C655D. And any in that series would be similar to this one. Uh, I've already removed the BIOS password. Uh, but the steps are uh, fairly simple. Now, if you were to turn the unit on, and the little window appears here that asks you to put the password. And for some reason, you forgot the password, or if you bought it from someone who wanted to get rid of it for that same reason, it's fairly easy. Now, nothing on the top you have to remove have to be removed. You, can't, you don't have to remove the keyboard or anything. However, you would power the unit off. Remove the battery, and we use a screwdriver, and you would remove the memory card cover, and you would remove the top memory stick. Once that is removed, you can put that aside, and you would leave the bottom one in. You would have to, because if you decide to try to turn it on and the memory stick is in the top slot it would ask you to press the power button and remove it from that slot and place it in another slot the only other slot that's left is the bottom one you would also remove your hard drive and once the hard drive is removed and you're about ready to delete or remove the password now on the board itself in order to facilitate easy viewing or to be able to see this a lot easier when I remove this slot and I would bring this up and hopefully you'll be able to see what I'm referring to on the board you would see three X's triple X right here and there are two sorted points here and here that has to be shorted on this model here it's I think C5200 I have terrible eyes and I should um, I don't know if you can see it right here and that is 3500 not C but just 3500 3500 as best as I can see it may be another number but what you should focus on is the three X's that are here X X X and you can use a small flat screwdriver and you would have to short out these points but there are other things or other steps that has to be taken in order for it to work so what you would do is you would have your power adapter your power cord you would have that handy and you would have to lay the unit on its side and you may also have someone else help you with it um, unless you're able to maneuver all this all of these steps with two hands and what you would do you would replace one of your memory sticks in the lower slot here and you would have to use your flat screwdriver and hold these two points together Plug your power cord in while holding these points together, or while they're shorted, and press your power button while holding it. And that should remove the password within seconds. You would not see, once the power is pressed, you won't see the password comes up, but you will see it start to going into, um, into start to post or go into the BIOS. 
um, without asking or prompting for a password. Once that's done, you can unplug it and put all of your components back, your hard drive, your memory card, and close it up, and you should be fine. And your laptop should boot because nothing has been done to the hard drive in any way. Now, as a reminder, you need a flat screwdriver. You have to short out the solder pads on the triple X where you see it on the board. Plug in your power adapter while holding that screwdriver on the points that you're shorting and press the power button and the unit should power up and within seconds it would remove the BIOS password. And once that's done, you can go ahead, reassemble your laptop, put everything back, screw the unit back together, replace your hard drive, Place the screw that holds your hard drive in place. Hard drive cover. Replace your battery. And if it's charged, you don't have to worry about your power cord right at, at this time. And once you hit your power button, if your battery is charged or has some charge, your unit would start to boot and you're fine and ready to go. And so folks, um, that's it and it's fairly easy. So if you have any questions, please um, post your questions down below and if you like it, give it a thumbs up and um, I'll try to respond as quickly as possible. Thank you for watching.